Urbanization, made worse by rising population and climate change, are continuously exerting pressure on water resources globally. At least 1 billion people worldwide don't have access to clean water. 2.6 billion more cannot access good sanitation facilities, while 1.4 million children under the age of 5 die annually from waterborne diseases, while others succumb to diseases occasioned by poor sanitary conditions. If 35% of your population are spending 80% of their hours fetching water, where would these the poor get time for productive work? So we have similar problems. And then coming together like this makes us get a way of getting solutions which are common and can be applied across the board. Part of the solution to save these lives lies here in water technology, some of which were showcased at a meeting of the Technical Committee of the African Water Association here in Kampala. The five-day workshop at the International Resource Center of the National Water and Sewage Corporation is on the theme, Solutions for Accelerating Water and Sanitation Access in Africa. And there are cheap technologies that are affordable for our population to have a rain. Can you imagine all these schools in the rural areas and clinics and churches and mosques if every one of them was harvesting rain. The numbers we have, you could reach 11 million Ugandans using that approach. In Uganda, the National Water and Sewage Corporation has embarked on an ambitious project to increase water coverage to 100% by 2018. We started with 23 towns last year. We are now in 66. And we think we should be in more than 80 towns by the end of this financial year. And we also want to increase our turnover from the current US dollar 65 million to 90 million at the end of this financial year. Issues of tariff uh, structures and the access and the, uh, those are areas which National has tried to address. Um, to cut away or to remove the vendor uh, level because water becomes expensive when they are vendors. But experience has also shown that it may not only be about lack of resources in some countries, but rather limited human resources and skills. Thinking about programs, thinking about capacity building uh, programs to enhance performances of water utilities. The expectation is that such initiatives will help partner states under the African Water Association to seek ways to increase access to clean water and meet the Millennium Development Goals on Water and Sanitation. Moses Sakena, NTV.